Welcome back, this is Bellascope with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by Vash, Lamia, and Bloon. Kyra is hanging out by the bucket, uh, because, well, I like this team a little bit better. Just the combination of it works just a little bit better. Plus, we will be seeing uh, much more uh, of Kyra later on. Uh, now, when we last left off, we were doing endings, so let's do some more. There are... Well, a dozen official endings, and then I showed you guys uh, one ending that they don't consider official, the uh, the losing ending, and then, of course, a second uh, main ending. So there shall be 14 endings in all. That's quite a bit, isn't it? Now, this one, in order to get this ending, you need to have uh, completed the bridge sequence. You need to defeat Zombor, give the guys the jerky and all that kind of stuff. But, do not get the hero medal from Tata. In fact, I didn't even go to the Denodoro Mountains. I kind of like this music here. What are we... Oh, it's just the main thing, but... The, the, the front part of it sounded very industrial to me for, for whatever reason. It was kind of weird. Oh, we're going through time again. Hopefully, we have a plot-related ending today, because those are the ones that I enjoy instead of the random stuff, uh, which we will be seeing more of, uh, well, after this one. Hey, it's 2300 AD, and Bloom drops in, and things are different. He did find a place in, uh, in the future. This must be Lean Square because of the bell. Is that Nadia's bell? Is it still Lean's bell? I have to assume it's Nadia's bell. And he found Atropos! Hey, what is up, girl robot, somehow? Uh, I don't know if she's anatomically correct. Maybe you guys could have some robot babies! Yeah, Atropos, we haven't seen her in a long time. Uh, not since the main ending, I don't think. Well, she's been in the cutscenes, maybe, of some other ones, but really, it's been a long time since we've seen her. But many of you forgot about her. She was a fight in one of the, the side quests at the end of the game. Aw, they're hanging out. This is where they always hang out. I've always been a little confused, because this looks like the Dinodora Mountains. In fact, I know it is, but... That was in 600 AD when we went there. In 2300 AD, apparently, it looks great. And they're hanging out there. Unless they traveled through time again, which would just be weird. How did they travel back in time like that? Is that all you're going to show me? Bloon and Atropos hanging out? No? Okay, we got more. Hopefully. I can't say I fully understand every ending, to be honest with you. But hopefully they give us enough of a hint that I can figure it out. I know there's been a couple of them where they probably thought they gave me enough information, but it was not enough. Well, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. It, it, whoa! Tata! The hell are you doing? He's sitting on the throne? He became king? Freaking Tata! Because we didn't take the metal away from him? Because we didn't make him admit that he it wasn't his? That he just found it? I don't understand. How can the little kid be king? What is this, Game of Thrones? I don't understand. That's a really good series. You guys should check that out. He's, he's doing it by himself? Even we couldn't do it by ourselves. I mean, I didn't struggle, but I did have three people. I can't imagine Tata doing it by himself. How many elixirs did he have on him before he showed up? Magus. That's totally what the little kid sounds like. Nope, it's us. We're, we're gonna fight Tata. What? Why are we in Magus' lair? Fash, find me a Cairo. What is going on? We became the bad guys. Once again, this is one of those ones where I don't fully understand. I have questions. <laughs> 
This raises more questions than it answers, game. And that's the end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. What ending do we get after this? What, what PlayStation ending do we get? We got two options here. We got the wedding and no wedding. Are you going to let me move forward? There we go. In terms of the ending, we get... The happy ending. Hooray. You get married. Even though we're evil. Once again, don't, don't fully understand. But that's going to do it for this ending. See you next one. And as we watch... Kyra take out uh, the Lavos core again here. Uh, we are ready for another ending. Now this one, I will be honest, is not one of my favorites. Uh, this one you have to do pretty much before you clear out uh, the bridge after you get to the end of time. But before you go through the whole uh, bridge uh, sequence there. Uh, that one will give you this ending which as I've said isn't my favorite so don't get your expectations too high my expectations are usually high when it comes to alternate endings and I'm usually disappointed this is one of those cases to be honest with you we do have a little playful music which is usually not a good sign we have a new that's definitely not a good sign for me and a ribbit! Oh, frog thing. So I know what the new is supposed to be. I don't know anything that looks like that at all. It's just a new. That's definitely a, a frog looking thing, but it's a ribbit. We keep on trying to talk to each other, I guess, but now the new fell asleep. Ribbit will have none of that. And they chase each other all around. It's, you know, it's a little slapstick s sketch, I guess you could say. Oh, the new lost him. He's gone. It's safe for you to fall asleep? Nope, he just walks away. <laughs> Nothing to do here. But the ribbit is sneaking up again. What are you going to do? Oh, the ribbit fell asleep. Apparently that's what, what he wanted. Now the new has to wake him up. And they run off again. And now they're being chased the other way. Now there's a kill Walla. He wants in on the action. I don't I don't understand. Maybe I'm just not into slapstick or whatever this is supposed to be. Oh yeah, he's behind you. <laughs> You'll never see him. He's faster than you knew. Oh, you caught him. But uh, this is this is something that I don't know. I, I guess it's supposed to be cute and funny, but I typically don't think stuff like this is cute and funny. Maybe it's just a, a Japanese thing. You, that's not how sleeping works. <laughs> You can't just steal the Z's off the top of his head. You don't know what you're doing, Ribbit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going for the attack. Boom! Right on his face. That woke him up. And he just walks over to his Z's. And falls back asleep. This is... What? Oh, you, yeah, just push him out from under the Z's. The Kilwala spots his opportunity, and now he's asleep. Wait, is that asleep? It looks like he's, like, falling off a cliff. Doesn't look like he's sleeping. Whatever. And now the new fell asleep again, leaving only the ribbit, who is still kind of pissed off, even though I, I can't say I understand what's going on. It just looks like they all want to go to sleep, and I don't know who's preventing it. Now they're all asleep. Hooray! The three kind of funny comedic sidekicks, I guess you could say, of the game fell asleep. Hooray. The end. And now the end fell asleep. O okay. Once again, I just don't understand. It's just not my thing, I guess. 
So we're moving on. And yes, you get the uh, the bad ending here. No marriage for you. But that looks like it's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined by comedic sidekicks. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.